welcome to an Everyday Canines video. In this episode on Running Contacts, I'm going to show you how we start the foundations of teaching a beginner dog, a puppy, and any other dog that needs retraining as well to start on Running Contacts again. Now this step, if your dog has already got a good understanding of the dog walk, you may, will probably not want to worry about. However, this is a nice little confidence builder for puppies. It's also good if you've got a dog that is perhaps a little bit unsure of the dog walk. I would also say it's a very good game if you've got a dog that is worried by the seesaw, which will often transfer to being worried by the dog walk. So you can do this at a relatively young age with puppies because we're not actually putting any pressure or impact on them. I was doing this with Magpie, oh, she's about six months or so, because all we're doing here is we're building an understanding of this is a nice place to be. We're not going up the dog walk, we're just concentrating on this area perhaps getting as high as where my box is, but this is all we're concentrating on. And what I'm teaching the dog is that this is a very good place to be. It's nice. It's a new surface under my feet, but it's okay. It's also up. And I'm going to teach my dog, first off, that it's nice to get on it and I get rewarded, but also I'm going to teach them how to get off safely because that is important. Because every now and again, something will happen and our dog may need to bail on a dog walk and we want them to be able to bail safely and to know what to do and also not to be worried about it. So it's a safety feature. So when I first had Magpie, she was actually worried about the dog walk. She was worried about getting on it. She didn't want to touch it. So all I did with her is we played games where she just came over and put her paws on it or she even initially just sniffed it. That was fine. And then what we did then, Swift, can you come off please? Is I'd start treating her on the dog walk. So she got to eat off the dog walk. And I just gradually built her confidence. So we started with one paw going on. Then as you can see, we started to get all the paws going on. And then what I was doing, once I got a little bit of confidence like that, I'd send her away, go get it, and see what she did. And if she come back straight onto it, that's awesome. Send her away again. Oops, <laughs> stuck to my finger, go get it. Yeah, good girl. So we just played around literally within these first few inches, just getting feet on and understanding that though this is a little bit off the ground, it's not scary. So you can do this with puppies. The important thing is with puppies, don't go above their wrist height. So wrist height is, hang on, madam. Here we've got their foot and that is their wrist. This is their elbow. So we don't want with puppies, we wouldn't want to be going above that much so we'd literally stay there with puppies because they're growing and we're keeping all low impact all we're doing is introducing the dog walk the dog walk plank we're introducing a new surface under their feet because sometimes just the surfacing can be oh that's funny we're also introducing the feel of being off off the ground a fraction on a lifted up surface now if your dog walk wasn't up because in the winter i take my dog walk down you could actually do this with the plank laying flat on the floor and just i mean that would be just about like probably that much up or even like that on um smaller planks which would be ideal you could have it somewhere in your garden if you've got enough room you could have it in a hallway or living room you could have that and just play with it on the ground and you can ask your puppy to do things like walk over it like that now you're saying, well, she's not walking over it the proper way. This is not what it's about. It's all about confidence under your feet. It's all about understanding the different ways this board sits on the ground for the puppy and just understanding that there's nothing to worry about. There is nothing to fear. Now, did you see there? Magpie fell off a little bit. Now, when she was first learning, doing something like that, she wouldn't get back on. But now it's just like, oh, that's nothing. That's, that's just another thing. It's just learning spatial awareness around the dog walk and learning that it's a nice taste to pee. There's lots of treats and it doesn't matter if my foot goes off or anything like that because I know what to do and I know how to get back on it. So this is all I did with Magpie when she was little. And I didn't do it very often. Maybe, maybe once a fortnight. Um, as she started to get a bit more, and we are starting to think, well, she's getting older now. She's starting to think about doing these, this, this dog walk more. And then I started to build it up a bit more. So she was getting on regularly. So she was getting confident on it. Because what we don't want, Magpie, uh, Swift, go get it. What we don't want, go get it, Swift. 
magpie either, is a dog that's worried about the dog walk. Now, do you see? She fell off. But are we worried? No. Let's see what will happen. I'll throw it off. Go get it. Yes, it gets swift out of the way. Move swift out of the way. So we've just got a dog that's, yeah, you figured that out. You figured out I throw it away and then you come back. So it's all just a game. It's just a, a if you like, it's a socialisation game. A, a, a game to get them used to this plank with no pressure, no worrying about what their feet are doing. It's all just fun for the puppy and just another learning experience. So that's where you're going to start with a puppy or a dog that's new to agility. That's your foundation point. And if you've got a dog that's at all worried about seesaws or anything like that, it would be also worth doing this with the, that dog. And when we get to talking about seesaws another time, you'll see this is a game I also played on the seesaw. It helps with that understanding of seesaws as well. And as you can see, the dog walk then becomes a place where they like to be. It's a place where they're happy to walk on and off. No worries. So that is step one of the foundation, the really, really basics with a puppy and yeah and now we're going to move on in the next video to game two which is teaching your dog, dog about body awareness on the dog walk so i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope it's been informative and if you have you might subscribe to the youtube channel you can also check us out on facebook and instagram and i hope to see you all again very very soon